Ciao everyone, Chef Carmel here, talking about pasta from the different regions of Italy. Today's dish is called pasta carbonara, and carbonara means charcoal in Italian. And rumors had it that people that would cook this dish were people that worked in the mines, uh, and that's a fallacy. Uh, this dish came about in the late 1900s. Uh, it was made famous here in the United States, but it's become a uh, item in so many Italian restaurants. It was also done as a pairing with fettuccine alfredo. Uh, it's done tableside as well. So what we do here is in this particular dish, what makes it a little different than fettuccine alfredo is the fact that we either use a pancetta, which is uncured rolled bacon coming from the belly of the hog. Uh, we may use a little bit of smoked bacon, uh, and that's something I prefer in this particular dish. So what we always want to do is make sure cold pan, cold pork. If I was doing bacon, cold pan, cold pork, it allows for the rendering. So here we have some nice smoky bacon. We're going to add that in. And I'm going to render this down. And while this is rendering down, I'm going to break two eggs to get my egg yolks because we're going to do a type of uh, dish here where it calls for a liaison. And a liaison is a French technical term. Uh, it's a technique whereby we temper a hot liquid with a fat being the egg yolk. Now everybody does egg yolks a little differently. I've worked in bake shops where we do a egg, we break the egg and we do shell to shell. And the reason for that is so that there is no oil from your fingers in the whites, which allows the egg whites to whip up if you were doing like a meringue. In this case, we're not using the egg whites, and I'm gonna show you a very easy, effective way of removing the yolk from the white, especially if you don't need to use the white. So all I do is break my egg into a bowl, like so, and then what I'm gonna do is put my fingers in the white and yolk part, run this through my fingers, and then I have a beautiful egg yolk. Just like so. Very simple, takes two seconds, and I'm the kind of guy that's kind of impatient, so this works out real well. So we wanna make sure that the bacon doesn't stick to the pan, so we move this around. And this will take a couple of minutes to render. We're going to be adding cream to this dish. And it's made very similar if you've had the opportunity to see my video on uh, fettuccine alfredo, made very similar. So we want this rendered not quite crispy, almost crispy. While we're waiting for that to work, I'm gonna take some of my fettuccine and we're gonna reheat it in our pasta water. And again, you may have heard me say this several times, but the pasta water should be very salty when it comes to a boil. How salty it should taste like the sea. And the way we tell that is quickly put our finger in the hot water, taste it, it should taste like sea water. So you can see here our bacon is almost rendered, it's crispy. Got some nice fat working in there. And for this dish, you can use garlic or not. I like garlic, so I'll add a little in here. And you don't wanna let this garlic cook for more than about oh, 20, 30 seconds, just till it starts to perfume. Like so. We're gonna add our fettuccine to this. Like so. And now I'm gonna add my cream. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper. Gonna add a little bit of salt. 
and we're going to add a little bit of freshly grated nutmeg. I love fresh nutmeg. It brings out a really nice flavor in your pasta, especially with cream. All right, now comes the tricky part. We're going to make our liaison. And in order to do that, you want to pull this away from the fire. We're going to add our cream, heated cream, into the egg yolks, just like so. Again, this is still off the fire. I'm going to stir up my eggs and cream. And the reason to do this is because if I just added my egg yolks into the cream mixture, they would scramble. And we're not making breakfast here. We're making a nice pasta dish. I add this back in. Now I'm going to put this back on the fire. And you don't want to bring this back to a boil. You just want to get it up to a simmer. And it'll start to thicken right away. And you want enough where it just coats your pasta. That's all she wrote. We're going to add to this some nice Parmesan cheese, Reggiano Parmigiano. Add a little bit of parsley. You can also add a little bit of chopped fresh basil. And there's our fettuccine carbonara. Enjoy. Bon appetito.